Hey everyone, I'm Big John and I'm back with another Diz Ability Tip. Now, I've been watching some um, Disney live streams this past, past summer and a lot of them have been, streamers have been in the rain, big surprise. So, I thought I would talk about out rainy day tips. Now, well, we, my family, when we go to the parks, we're always prepared for everything, especially my mom. She puts ponchos and rain jackets in our backpack on rainy days, just in case. Because most days in in the summer, it will rain if you're going to Disney in the summer. So, pack a poncho or jacket just in case. Now, let's say you get caught in the rain and... And you need to go into a place where you can get out of the rain. Now, there are some great places in the parks where you can find the... Where you can get go in and get dry. First of all, you can... Let's see. Starting in the Magic Kingdom, you can go in some of the shops on Main Street or the shops anywhere in the park. You can go in v Pinocchio's Village House where, where we mentioned in the past and... You can go to, uh, you can try to go on a ride I that's indoors because on rainy day, on days when it's thundering, a lot of the outdoor rides will be shut down. At Epcot, you can duck into the land pavilion where Soren is. You can, and if you're at Hollywood Studios, you can. There are some places in the park you can duck into, like some of the shops on Hollywood and Sunset. Not a lot of places in Animal Kingdom, but always think ahead. Always pack a rain jacket or poncho just in case. That's always helped us in the past. As always, if you have... So that's my tip. If you have any questions on how to do Disney for people with disabilities... Let me know in the comments, and I'll make sure it gets in a future video. Also, be sure to check out my good friend Beth over at Beth's Disney Adventures. She's going live today at 3 at Hollywood Studios, doing more of her amazing ink challenges. Also, be sure to check out my friend Julie over at Dream to Stream. She has great live streams on both YouTube and Facebook. And for the latest attraction news, be sure to check out my good friends over at Attractions Magazine. And until next time, may the mouse be with you.